moving to other subjects with you guys. I want to cover the waterfront and take phone calls today on what you see as the big uh, crises, but also positive things in 2015, what you see coming uh, in the next year. But Joe, you've been focusing a lot in on the Ebola. From your research, isn't an Ebola simulant like a lot of people think, including CIA people? Yeah. We've interviewed on air. And then if it is a simulant, why cover up people that then have the symptoms? Why disappear them? Is it a test at disappearing people? Is it a test at controlling the media? Uh, I would say all of the above. And well, one of the best quotes I've heard and, and found so far is that the, the disease is in the vaccine. And uh, initial reports from Liberia, if you, if you remember, they were talking about the citizens of Liberia were saying how Ebola was a hoax and the vaccine was really the problem now we i don't know if this is ebola or some mutation of it but this is definitely uh in advance in preparation for their new federal health care architecture uh, system of governance that they're going to be implementing and this is part of the federal register they have uh, dates for compliance from 2015 through 2018 until uh, and they're going to do pilot programs or they can do it through a, a declaration of an emergency and either way it's going to be coming and what they're doing also is implementing part of the economy. The new economy will be also under this healthcare architecture. That's right. Excellent point. Keep elaborating, Joe or, or uh, Doug. I, I just, I got to tell you, Joe has over 8,000 pages printed out. And we're, we're going through, uh, we're going through every page. The, the groundwork, the architecture for this medical martial law that, that really, that really combines the medical surveillance, surveillance, medical, yes, uh, uh, surveillance through medical devices right. that will be mandatory. They're setting up um, an international universal health care system under the United Nations, and it's public. The United States has signed on to it. Even the president, Incredible. one of his first executive orders that Barack Obama put out was uh, 13521, establishing a commission for the study of bioethical issues, yep. in which it states that it may examine broader issues not linked to specific technologies, but not limited to the protection of human research participants, scientific integrity, and conflicts of interest in research, and the intersection of science and human rights. Now, what would cause uh, a problem between the intersection of science and human rights, aside from some kind of um, pandemic know, yeah. or device? Correct. Or, or, yeah. It, and by the way, I mean, when you guys are saying this, it's completely spot on and really puts the pieces together. They're using uh, AFRICON to go in with a cover to set up bases in Africa. The troops are doing valiant work and helping people. They're compartmentalized, but still the larger system is they're the PR front that goes in. We predicted this back when Obama first got in. He's kind of the poster person to allow that invasion of Africa, obviously with the skin color and the African roots. And then you look at the medical tyranny of Obamacare, taking over society, the systems, the control, and then they basically tell us it's a trial run. Why do you think they flaunt it like Gruber, a new video out making fun of the American people? Now it's nine videos calling us idiots, calling us stupid, ha, 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 he ripped us off. Why do they love to gloat? Well, Alex, you, you said this so much on your program. You know, they tell us what they're going to do, and then they laugh about it when they do it right in front of our faces. And, and Joe and I were talking about this, and then he did a lot of research on Gruber and, and, and the whole basis for this. What this is, is uh, spiking the football, if you will, in the end zone, at least on the part of the Obama regime with respect to Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act. And they're coming to a, a point where uh, a lot of their uh, information and publications they put out are coded with references in, la in English language, but we it's hard to understand because they have their own language they use. And right. now they're starting to release in plain English what they're gonna do and the documents are finally coming together where they're giving you the definitions, their definitions of, for example, they say a human subject will be uh, used as a scientific uh, research participant on a voluntary basis. But it goes on to say voluntary is not, it's not as it sounds. Voluntary means compliance or consent uh, to be uh, used as a participant, but you have to be, uh, there's a, a sure. under USC 42 yeah. that says if you are mentally disabled or disabled, and the term of disability means if you cannot uh, do things, so, and I'll read right from the law, if you are if you cannot care for yourself for manual tasks, seeing, hearing, eating, sleeping, walking, standing, lifting, bending, speaking, breathing, learning, reading, concentrating, thinking, 
communicating or working. It's classified sure. as Sure. Stay there, guys. I want to come back and look at this more. This is very important. Calls are coming up. Other issues we're going to look at with you as well. But as soon as Bill and Melinda Gates and all these big companies started investing in this a year ago and all these vaccines were getting ready, I just said, get ready for Ebola because they got their vaccines rolling out. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. News flash. Home invasions are on the rise. It takes less than 10 seconds to kick in a door. 10 seconds is not enough time to protect your family. And what would happen if you are not home? Easy Armor is the ultimate security solution. 85% of break-ins are through a door. Protect your home now with Easy Armor. Go to invasionstopper.com to get real security for under 70 bucks. That's invasionstopper.com. Easy Armor. Your security is our only business. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. This hour brought to you by InfidelBodyArmor.com. When it hits the fan, don't be left without the body armor that will save your life. With prices starting at just $374.99 and ships free. Get yours at InfidelBodyArmor.com. Just won't quit. Hi, Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Is it time to convert paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver yet? Get our 10 Reasons book free. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Do you have relatives and friends that are convinced there is no need ever to prepare for any kind of emergency? Are these also folks you buy Christmas presents for? At 30dayfoodsupply.com, we can solve both of these problems at the same time. Go to 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. We can ship your Christmas presents directly to them. Choose from our original $99 30-day food supply, our long-term storage vegan burger mixes, and other oatmeal, soups, porridges, beans, and granolas for everyday use. All products are non-GMO, MSG-free, and vegetarian. Most are gluten, soy, and nut-free. Call 541-229-0010 today. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low, cutting out the middleman by buying directly from their producers in Oregon. Remember, only $10 ships your entire order to the lower 48. Visit the website 30dayfoodsupply.com. Call 541-229-0010. 30dayfoodsupply.com. 541-229-0010. I'll tell you why I'm humbled. Alex Jones here back live. Still alive. I've seen so much crazy stuff, been threatened so much, been attacked. And we're here. God's taking us through it. We don't just need to lie down to evil. We can stand up against it. Evil isn't the only force in the universe. That's the bottom line. Your phone calls, Ron in Hawaii. And we're going to talk to uh, Barbara in Illinois and Indigo Kid in Colorado first when we come back. Ramon, Kevin, and many others. 
on what you think the big event will be in 2015 or maybe even this year. What's the next shoe to drop in the organized global crisis that the New World Order is clearly orchestrating and admitting in many cases they're orchestrating? Finishing up with medical tyranny, there are now reports coming out every few days I see where schools are inoculating children without consent. They're really pushing the vaccines. They're, 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 they're trying to tell nurses they'll be fired if they don't take all these vaccines. They're intimidating people. They're lying and saying it's the law. Finishing up uh, with Hagman and Hagman, Doug Hagman and Joe Hagman, father and son team, investigative journalist and private detectives, finishing up on Ebola. Then I want to shift gears into what you think the other big events are. And one of the people, Barbara, asked from Illinois, and we're going to go to her, she thinks government coup may be the next thing. Well, it's already a coup if Congress lets Obama have all these executive orders on immigration, you name it. That's right. You know what, Alex? Uh, I got to tell you, the coup, the coup is happening, is happening, and it has happened, basically. Uh, you talked about this, the right-left paradigm. It's gone. It's gone. We have, in fact, we just talked to a source this morning out in D.C. who said, watch over the next 30 to 60 days, especially over the next couple of weeks leading up to Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving holiday, where you're going to see Republicans and Democrats work together and force through or allow an executive order on amnesty. And everyone's throwing out this 40%, 40%. Well, Reagan uh, uh, signed an executive order allowing 40% of uh, illegal immigrants some sort of uh, uh, allowance to, 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 to remain here. Well, that 40% back in 1986 is a whole lot different than the 40% in 2014. But the fact of the matter is, the immigration is a big part of it, and uh, just to wet, your, wet people's whistle a little bit, toward 2015, especially toward the fall, you're looking at a major economic collapse. This is all being hidden. I mean, at the end of the road, what, uh, Alex, what we're seeing here is the cover, is the uh, cover for a major economic collapse and the establishment of a digital currency that is going to meld, mesh with the medical biotronics that, that we're dealing with right now. That's right. Obamacare is the NSA rollout and legalizes a lot of NSA spying that's already going on to tie everything together. I mean, it's, it's just so cold-blooded. Exactly. And you pointed this out so many times. The flood of illegal immigrants, the legitimization of the illegal uh, aliens here in this country, flooding our hospitals, bringing with them the diseases being dispersed all across the United States, the cloud pivot strategies at play here. And ultimately, they need somebody to blame for this uh, monetary meltdown that will occur, that'll take the U.S. dollar out. And what better excuse to say, hey, we never saw the Ebola crisis or put you insert the pandemic here. Uh, Bird flu, yeah, SARS-2, who knows? We, you know, we just could, we just couldn't have ever. I mean, who'd have thought this? Who, who'd have thought this? And that's what they're doing. They're setting us up. It's all a big lie. The lie is just bigger at every single level. Absolutely. And that's what that's what Joe has done. You know, with this, uh, some examples on the Ebola is not following standard operating procedure and actually seeing things that are opposite of common sense. Is when you, you they warn about the dangers of Ebola and how much it is affecting people in West Africa. Yet they keep travel uh, open. And they don't restrict it. There's no, you know, precautions taken. And they're flying people with Ebola here. I, I think it is more of a, a covering uh, than to worry about the Ebola. I think it's a cover for what there is coming down the line economically. Uh, the IMF is asking, is asking or demanding more power yep. uh, and, a, and a consolidation. Well, it's just like we're under the UN with our military in Africa. They use all this where there's a global response. You don't control it at your border. You open your borders up, and, and then you have to go clean it up in Africa. This is what they said in the SPP documents, that they would use pandemics to bring in global government so they would have continent-wide and transcontinent responses, not national responses, emasculating the national response forces or putting them under the UN. And by the way, in case you didn't hear it, folks, here's Obama saying this Ebola crisis is a trial run. Here it is. And uh, in many ways, what this has done is elevated that importance. There may come a time sometime in the future uh, where we are dealing with a airborne disease that is much easier to catch and is deadly. And uh, in some ways this uh, has created a trial run for uh, federal, state, and local public health officials and health care providers That's as right. well as 
uh, the American people. To going under federalization, we're going to come back with Hagman and Hagman straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. Their site is HagmanandHagman.com. Your calls are straight ahead, and they'll give you their response and more of their take and their sources on what's coming in 2015 and how to stop it. We're on the march.